you have to be able to reach that level of confidence as well as personality in trading. Now that we've discussed kung ano yung kung bakit mahirap yung habit and then yung change in habit and then you now accept uh, how why you need to change your habits and then we've discussed kung ano yung kailangan yung journal para makita yung habits nyo. I'll now discuss some tips siguro on how you can uh, change those habits. Okay? So first of all would be uh, focus on identity or lifestyle-based na focus in terms of change of habits. What does it mean? Diba kaya na sinabi natin na habits are very personal. It's something that is about us. So dapat ganito daw yung gawin natin na goals in terms of formulating habits. Hindi yung ano parang uh, sasabihin mo, uh, i-declare ko. Kasi, I will declare that I am a trader that only trades my plans. Diba? Kita nyo, yung statement is based on an identity. I am declaring to the world that I will be a planned-based trader. So, binabago mo na yung vision mo sa sarili mo. Binabago mo na yung gusto mo maging as a person, as a trader. Yun daw kasi yung deepest level of creating habits. What are the Kumbaga, mas, ma mas mababaw na level. So, ito yung three layers of behavior change. First is appearance. Yung appearance kasi is based on what other people could perceive you to be. Let's say, sasabihin mo, ah, gusto ko ako yung trader na parang nakikita na matao na ganito, nagkakata ko, parang ganun. Or, I'm a trader na pinapakita ko na I always plan. So, yung intent mo is really how other people perceive you. There's an external validation. Okay? Yun daw kasi mababaw kasi paano pag wala ka nang naramdaman or na feedback ka na external validation. If you're only trying to change the habit because you're trying to prove something to others, mababaw daw yun. It's something that pwede mong hindi tuloy-tuloyin. Diba? Kasi nga, again, meron kang kinakilangan na external validation. It's how others perceive you to be. So if, if you're just focused on, ah, gusto ko makita nila ako na ganito ang klaseng trader. That's not your identity. That's something that could easily be parang not become a habit. Okay? It has to be deeper. So the next level is your performance. Parang, you know, I want to be able to do, let's say, ito tayo, let's say sa ano, uh, fitness, gawin natin yun yung example. Sa so fitness, your face, for example, would be, ah, gusto ko makita ko ng tao na macho. So yun yung external. Sa so performance naman would be, I want to be a person that can do 10,000 push-ups. So you're just focused on the action itself. Ang mahirap dito is, what if you're not able to do that act or that performance? Nagkakaroon ka ng disappointments to yourself kasi you're just focused on that. Yun yung sinasabi nila na parang dinidifferentiate mo yung total na process versus just a simple act or a simple result. Okay? If you're focused on that, madali din daw yung hindi maging habit. Okay? And then again, the final level would be your identity. Pag sinabi mo na sa fitness natin example kanina would be, I want to be a person that's healthy. Diba? Ibig sabihin nun, you understand na health will be your identity, health will be your lifestyle. Diba sabi kanina? You have to focus on identity and lifestyle-based focus. It means that you're changing na how, how you live your life. Kasama na dun yung schedule mo. Again, yung routines and habits mo. It's really... Trusting the process. Ito actually yung sinasabi namin na trusting the process as traders. Kasi, yun nga eh, uh, yung, yung ibang levels would be really just minor things in your, in your system, in your trading. Diba? Pero when you actually uh, de declare na, uy, I will be a trader that is very disciplined. So all your actions should be geared towards having that identity. Parang ina, nangyari nga is tinatanim mo ng malalim yung roots of your good habits. And then, since I didn't care mo na, uy, I will be a, a disciplined trader. So yung bad habits mo, dapat hindi siya magkakonflict doon sa declaration mo na, this will be my identity. So again, when you're creating habits that you want to do or change, focus on being that kind of person that does those habits. Focus on identity or lifestyle-based habits. So clear ba yun? Yan. So again, uh, maganda yun eh. Kumbaga in terms of planning, para nagiging mas detailed ka. It's not only skin deep, yun yung tawag nila eh, ba? You're focusing on who you will be as a person. Mamaya, I'll, I'll show you an example na ang ganda. Nabasa ko lang siya sa internet. Next would be, aim first for small wins, okay? Ito, very, very important to. Again, when people talk about, di ba sabi kanina, identity and lifestyle change, dun pa lang, ano na eh, feeling nyo, maglaki na siya, di ba? Napakalaking pagbabago niya, nakalaan. Kasi it's gonna be a lifestyle change. Dun papasok nga yung 
mas detailed na planning. You need to be able to go for small wins. For example, doon kanina, uh, for this week, kaya ko mag-100 push-ups, next week, 120, 140, 150. Ang isa pa kasing maganda dito is that you're able to celebrate small wins. Nothing is as frustrating to someone trying to change na hindi na nakita yung progress nila. Diba? Pag gusto mo magbago, hindi naman biglang nasa point B ka na. And that's frustrating if you're just fixated on that. You need to be able to celebrate ito, itong milestone na to, this milestone, this milestone. Ano yun, may effect siya in terms of your mindset. Yung you're able to celebrate small wins. Ano siya, uh, mas masarap siya pa sa pakiramdam. You're feeling that sense of progress. Yung change mo is gradually happening. Okay? You, at least you have a baseline of who you are before and who you will be the next day and the weeks and the months after. Okay? Later, meron akong papakita na palang pedat ang gawa ng metrics in terms of consistency sa habit change. Okay? And then, last would be maximize visual aids. Okay? So, naniniwala ba kayo na as persons, as, as, as a generation, nagbago na yung the way that we, let's say, utilize yung learning? Ngayon, uh, for example lang, social media. Ang dami ng na-attract social media, di ba? Kasi, it's visual. It's something that is pleasing or mas madali sa atin kunin yung information na yan. Tama ba? Kaya ba? Are, are you visual creatures na, do you think? Yes? Di ba? Uh, for example, in terms of yung multimedia, nagbabago na eh. Nakawala na yung mga print, di ba? Mas, mag, mas, mas, mas maano na eh, yung mga uh, multimedia, mga video, di ba? Kaya nga patok yung mga YouTube eh, yung kikidigat. <laughs> di ba? Visual. So, in terms of creating habits, paganda na gumamit tayo ng visual aids, okay? So, two things. In terms of good habits, ito yung sample. So, you can have habit trackers, okay? So, ano yung klase ng habit tracker? So, just focus on ano yung good habits na gusto yung gawin. And then, meron ka na tracker na if I was able to do it. And then, you can first sub, ano eh, uh, kumbaga sub, what do you call this? Categorize it. So, meron ka, for example, uh, health habits. So, dyan, pwede nga ipasok sa trading eh. Meron ka bang habits in terms of planning? May habits ka ba in terms of execution? Diba? May habits ka ba in, in terms of journaling? What good habits do you want to create in terms of journaling? Diba? And then, yung sabi ko kanina, you can actually create a scorecard for yourself in terms of consistency. So, let's say ganito. In a month, let's say there are 20 trading days. Diba? So, pwedeng bawat day na magawa mo yung good habit mo, you take an X mark. Okay? And then, you can grade yourself. Let's say, for this month, I was 20 out of 20. So, perfect ka for that month. Kita nyo? And then, the next month, ano ka na lang, uh, 15 out of 20. So, 75% ka yung score mo. So, pwede mong i-score card yung sarili mo based on consistency doon sa ginagawa mong good habit. Okay? Again, you can actually pinpoint, pag ganito kasi you can pinpoint kung gumagana doon yung performance mo kasi nag ka ng good habits sa trading mo. So, at least nagkaroon ka ng metrics for consistency. Kasi, yun yung isang madalas sa tanong ng mga traders, how do you keep consistent? Consistency is actually just doing the, let's say, the good things. Uh, time and time and time and time again. If, let's say, you had a profitable month, ang ganda nun pag may journal ka, and then you see, what did I do correct that month? Let's try to do it again the next month. Consistently. So, for the 20 days, inulit mo. Yung same. Nakita mo na, uy, ganun din ang performance ko, di ba? So, that could be the start of consistency. Okay? If, if you found that you had an edge this month, you had a profitable that month, Idi try mong ano, I extend further by doing those same habits that you did correctly. Diba sabi nga kanina, what did I do? Right. Okay? So, very important again. So, these are tools na pag nakita mo visually kasi, it reminds you eh. Diba? Again, visual. Meron kang connection with it. Nakita mo na, uy, for this day, di ko pa nagagawa yung habit ko na to. Let's work on it. At least, again, it, it becomes part of your lifestyle. Kita nyo? Do, do you believe in this? Na palang it can actually help you? Okay. So, ito, nakita ito sa internet eh. Uh, this was, parang, ano siya, uh, Japanese siya na tao. Yung kwento dito is that he was frustrated with his life. Okay? Kasi, uh, di ba sa Japan, parang, sobrang nakakawin down yung trabaho. Uh, parang, everyday daw, pagod siya, ganun. So, sabi niya, again, ang nagsimula dun is identity. He wanted to be a happier person. He wanted to be a happier employee. Yun yung naisip niya na, gusto niya maging identity. Now, nag-isip siya ng pwede gawing routine or habit. Ang naisip niya is, sige, I'll reward myself. So, pasok sa Q, yung sa ano, yung 3 hours natin, reward. Sabi niya, sige, ang gagawin ko na habit is, so 3 hours. Yung routine ko, pagkagising ko, I'll think about things that I am thankful for, and then, magagay siya ng pera. So, yung naging habit niya, 
nag-deposit siya ng pera dun sa palang calendar niya. So, again, visual kita nyo, uh, per day nagagay siya ng coin, tapos ano ata ito eh, weekend data, nagagay siya ng bill. So, yun yung naging habit niya. And then, nakita niya na, naging happier siya kasi nga, at the end of the month, yung lahat na ipo niya, ginagamit niya, pinanggagasas niya for himself. So, he became a happier person. Yung, yung ganun daw na simple na, sabi niya, again, nagsimula siya sa identity, di ba? Sabi niya, I will be a happier employee. He took control of that, of that kind of idea. Tapos gumawa siya ng habit around it. Tapos yan, yung, yung ganitong visual aid, natutuwa daw siya. Yung, yung act na ganun, yung nagde-deposit siya ng pera, ano yung kinukuha yung end of the month, hindi kasi sa sarili niya. He actually became daw a happier employee. Tapos nag-viral to sa Japan. Pala ang dami na daw gumagaya. So, at yung example na, kita nyo, yung three hours, ginamit niya ng, ito something visual, para lang, nakikita niya, may nakikita sa sarili na, uy, palang uh, may reward ako sa nga ko for myself. So, you can actually do this kind of things. Okay? So, ano naman sa, hab sa bad habits? So, yung visual na tool na ginagamit do, namin for bad habits would be the Demon Finder. Ang nagtuturo nito would be si Dante. Have you heard of him? Trader Dante. He's an international trader, I think, sa Europe, sa UK. So, ayun, magaling siya na, ano, na trader. So, this is actually one of my favorite tools na kinarecommend ko sa mga students or sa mentees namin, Demon Finder. So, what does it do? Again, same. It's a visual representation of your bad habits. So, ano yung components yan? So, susulit mo dyan, ano yung trading sins mo? What are your bad trading habits? Now, ito, saan nyo ito pupulutin? Again, it comes from journaling. Pag hindi kayo nag-journal, pag hindi nyo nakikita talaga, if you're not self-aware of what your bad habits are, wala kayo magagay dyan. Okay? So, again, it all boils down to gathering data first. So, yun. Sulit nyo lahat ng bad habits nyo. And then, uh, ang ginagawa dyan is, yung isa pang area is, gagawin nyo ng palang warning. Ito, ang ginagawa ko dito is, ang advice sa students ko is, make it very, very personal. Di ba? Kasi, ganun eh, if it's not something that you didn't do for yourself, baka hindi mo siya paniwalaan or hindi ka maapektuhan. So, ang ginagawa nila dyan is, di ba, ito mayroong warning na parang, di mo, parang demons are killed after taking a trade and then learn from your errors is the only way to achieve success. Iba-iba yung sinusulit ng students ko dyan. Iba sasabihin nila na, oy, your future depends on this. Di ba? Parang ganun, your retirement depends on this. Parang, pinapagalitan ng sarili nila, o pag ginawa mo yung bad habits na ito, ito yung mangyayari sa'yo. So make it personal. And then, uh, sa taas, parang nangyayari dyan, is meron kang tracking. Tapos, sa dulo, penalty system. Di ba kanina meron gumawa ng penalty system? So that's actually very good. Ito, pinapa-customize ko sa kanila, ito kasi, ang ginawa niyan, parang flat na, after 10 errors, meron kang penalty, di ba? Sa kanila, stop trading. Yung sa ibang students ko, iba-iba. If you know that, let's say, this trading sin, siya yung pinaka-downfall mo. Pwede mong ikrian. Let's see, tatlong strikes yung penalty ka na agad. Diba? You should be able to customize it para mas may effect siya sa inyo. Okay? So, ito yung sample sa mga students ko. So, ayun, iba-iba kita nyo. Yung iba meron dyan, one hit lang, sa second bawal na, red na agad. So, yung sa kanya, trading without a plan. Kasi, for him, ito yung pinaka-mara niya na trading habits, na bad habits, na trading sin. Now, believe me, ang laki na naging improvement ng students ko after they did this exercise. Kasi nga, ang laki nung effect ng visual siya. Let's say, nasa trading station ka, nakita mo siya, di ba? Kita mo na, eh, bago ko pidutin to, I'm doing this bad habit of mine. Nagkakaroon ka ng added na, ano eh, na feedback system. Tapos kailangan pamalkahan, mas masakit, di ba? Na-visualize, di ba? Na, you're facing already your biggest sins in trading. Tapos kailangan pang tanggapin na gawin ko itong pagkakamali na to. Ganyan yun eh. Declare, when you do this exercise, you're declaring to the universe na ito yung mga masasama kong habit. Diba? Nakas, naka, ano yun, nakapaskil na yun, whether in your workstation or your journal. Tapos gagawin mo pa? Yun eh, dinaklare mo na. Hindi, ibabalik kita. Ibabalik kita. Uulit, ulitin pa kita. Hindi, wala akong pakita. Uulitin pa kita. Diba? Ano eh, na, parang as a person you're showing na wala ka talagang disiplina kasi you have an intent to break that rule. You have an intent to do that bad sin, that bad habit. Diba? Mas nakakonsyo siya. And believe me, nakakatawa tayo, nung simula nung exercise, parang first month, dahil pa ng ex yung mga students ko, sabi ko, oh, tinawa, hindi kayo natututo, no? Tapos after a month, umuunti na. Hanggang sa nung parang third month ata, ang unti na lang. Sabi nila, sir, naging conscious na talaga ako. Parang, mayroon na talaga nag-whisper sa utak ko na, uy, ano yung palang hindi mo na yung gagawin, diba? Kasi nga, nagkaroon ka ng sistema to handle that bad habit. So, Itong demon finder, it's really a way to eliminate. Kita nyo, sobrang personal niya. Itong student na to, dinitail niya up to the different areas of trading. Meron siya about execution. Ano yung bad habits niya sa execution? Ito yung sinasabi sa inyo na very important 
na ganun kadetalyado yung pag-journal nyo. Kasi, di ba sabi natin kanina, you need to find ano yung area na yun using those three R's and those BH. Saan ka sumasabay sa trading mo? Is it in, in terms of execution? Is it in terms of planning? Is it in terms of your emotions, your intangibles? Lahat yan kasi pwede ka mag magkali na yun actually yung parang kaya mo yung ayusin. That just one thing para maging profitable ka na trader. Okay? So ito pa yung ibang samples. So ito yun, ganun din. Uh, kita mo, uh, na, ano eh, iba, iba, hindi yun siguro makita eh. So ang, pati yung mga warning dito, inuwagit pa, ano, kinustomize niya. So ang sa kanya, isa. Tapos inuwagit pa. Inuwagit pa ulit. Forever mo na ba't uwagitin. So parang ganun, pinapagalitan niya yung sarili niya. So ganun, i-customize yung para ano siya, tinatamaan nila kayo. Gets nyo? Ano siya mas malaki effect niya pag ano siya, personal. Kung baga, yung point nito is, sa journal, meron ka makikita mga improvement areas. Parang may na-micromanage mo. As a, parang ba, business kasi yung trading eh. So itong area na to, itong bad habits na to, gagawa ko ng mas malaki pang proseso. Ganyan yung nangyayari dito. Again, sobrang effective niya kasi nga, ano eh, nag-iba talaga yung performance sa mga students ko. Nung tinanggal na nga yung bad habits. Nag-turn around yung ibang performance nila. Ito, ano eh, parang tisit ako, oy, pasend na. Kasi nag-ano yun, hinihingi ko sa kanila weekly. So, parang eh, in-screenshot, eh, pinicture niya lang. <laughs> kasi nangihingi na ako na report eh. Tapos, so, yeah, hindi pa niya masend. So, pinicture niya lang. So, ganyan din. Ang dami niya. Tapos, eventually, may malatanggal na sila. Saka, ano eh, aangat yung ano, eh, madagas eh. So, ito, chasing prices yung pinaka-bad habit niya. Kasi ang dagas niya ay X eh. Diba? So, at least, pag, pag kinu-coach yung sarili niyo, at least, ito, alam niyo, ito yung kaya mong isolve on. Why am I chasing prices? Balik tayo dun sa ano, 3 hours, diba? Why am I chasing prices? Baka naman, I was unprepared. Yun pag yung root cause. Again, ganun eh. If you're self-aware on this kind of level, ang dagi mag-trouble. 